Hi, everybody. I'm here to share a story called Room on Our Rock. I have the book right here, and I scanned the pages so you can see them a little better on your screen. I'm reading with permission from Kane Miller Publishers. I'm really thankful that they published this book because it is one of a kind. However old you are, do me a favor. Go grab someone else in your house to listen to this with you. This book is written for people of all ages, whether you're four or five or 12 or 14 or 35 or 45 or 65. This book can be enjoyed by people of all ages. It is so unique and interesting. I am not going to tell you what I think the genre is on the before I read it for the first time, because I want you to have a big open mind when I'm reading it. I'm going to go through the pages pretty quickly the first time, and I want you to pay attention to how my voice is reading the words. It will give you a little bit of an idea of how this story is meant to be read. The first line on the title page says there are two sides to every story. And that is part of what makes this story unique. Ready? It's called Room on Our Rock. There's no room on our rock. So it's ridiculous to say there's space for plenty more. Shoo, go away. You'll never hear us say you're welcome here. This rock is ours. Go back to your own. You know you can't make our rock your home. This is no place to be. You have to leave right now. As you can plainly see. Now turn around. No room on this rock? Can it be true? Read back to front for another point of view. Now turn around. As you can plainly see, you have to leave right now. This is no place to be. Make our rock your home. You know you can't go back to your own. This rock is ours. You're welcome here. You'll never hear us say, shoot, go away. There's space for plenty more. So it's ridiculous to say, there's no room on our rock. This is room on our rock. How cool was that? The authors were able to show two perspectives of seals in two different ways without changing the words. Very cool. The first way through from the front to the back, you learn a negative perspective of why there's no room on the rock and you have to go away and no, you're not welcome here. And if you read it backwards from back to front, you have a whole nother point of view or a perspective that tells you, yes, there is room on our rock. You are welcome here. Come here and join us. What a better perspective that is, right? So this is poetry. We would call this poetry. The words elicit feelings and emotions, and the seals serve as a metaphor for people. Do you ever feel like you want to go somewhere and you don't feel included? Imagine if you could change that perspective. We all have the power to change our words and to go backwards and say, hey, you are welcome here. So this poet poem, poetry book, is a way for us to think about our own lives too. Very, very cool. So let me read it one more time, a little slower so you can see the pictures, okay? There's no room on our rock. So it's ridiculous to say, 
there's space for plenty more. Shoot, go away. You'll never hear us say, you're welcome here. This rock is ours. Go back to your own. You know you can't make our rock your home. This is no place to be. You have to leave right now. As you can plainly see. Now turn around. No room on our rock? Can it be true? Read back to front for another point of view. The first point of view is pretty negative, right? Now let's go for another point of view. Now turn around. As you can plainly see, you have to leave right now. This is no place to be. Come make our rock your home. You know you can't go back to your own, but this rock is ours, all of ours. You are welcome here. You'll never hear us say, shoo, go away. There's space for plenty more. So it's ridiculous to say, there's no room on our rock because this is room on our rock. So which perspective did you like better? The front to back or the back to front? I think, again, it's very, very cool and unique that these authors were able to do this. And I will see you next time with a different book. Thanks for stopping by.